Sunday morning, sorry. Saturday night, Sunday mornings. Just, it was up way too early for my own good, I guess. When that, uh, I think that was a thing from like the, the old soul singers. Was it? Yeah, they would talk about Saturday night, Sunday mornings. Because <laughs> they play on Saturday night. They go to church on Sunday. There you go. Hi, I am Artemis. I am here with David Joshua. Hello. We are headed to the Deep Ellum Arts Festival, which here in Dallas is kind of a big deal. And he's playing. You're playing tonight. Today. 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 Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm very excited. I'm here for moral supports uh, because I was too chicken to apply to play. <laughs> Maybe next year. Next we can year. play together. It'll be a united event. Exactly. Uh, I can open for you. Uh, I might be opening for you, actually. That might be what it is. Yeah, we'll see about that. I'm excited just to get out of the house. <laughs> I haven't... It's been... Probably since January. I haven't really done anything. This is the first cool thing I've done in a long time. So, I'm excited. You better bring it. I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna bring it so much that my acoustic guitar might catch on fire in the middle of the brain. Ooh, like an acoustic Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Just like that. Alright. Uh, yeah, give me. Yeah, okay. let me have your opinion on on albums versus singles. This is Ghost of Blind Lemon, with his opinion on albums versus singles. Okay, well, here's the simple thought here. Uh, I've always said for albums here, you need to have an album where the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Take for example Radiohead's OK Computer. You know, if you listen to the individual songs, they're good but sometimes you feel like it doesn't have near the impact each song should for as great as the album. You need context. If, if you need, if you have a whole context or concept, then you need to do an album. As for EPs, uh, they're good to have a bigger product, but at the same time, I think even with EPs, you kind of focus on one or two songs off of the EP rather than the whole of the EP. So that's the one disadvantage. The only thing is, you can actually justify putting out a physical product with an EP, and there are still people, me, who like the physical <laughs> products. I don't. I think for most people, it's all about the SoundCloud or Spotify nowadays. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's kind of my thoughts on the uh, whole debate. Now, if there's any people who want to debate me on this, I welcome the debate. Uh, you can shoot me an email, ghost at ghostofblindlemon.com. Who knows? Maybe I need to even do a Ghost of Blind Lemon post about that. I think you should. I think but it's a hot topic right will now. Maybe that be a future post on the blog at ghostofblindlemon.com. Not that I'm trying to promote myself or anything. Sounds like a plug to me. 
who me uh, <laughs> trying to plug my Ghost of Blind Lemon plug, my Ghost of Blind Lemon radio show, by the way, which happens Wednesdays 7 to 9 p.m. on Deep Ellum Radio. No, I'm not trying to plug things, just <laughs> stating facts. That is all. Thank you, Ghost. Yes. In the city block, in a tunnel vision kind of trend. Jenna, pronounce your name. Uh, po uh, Pocop. Po Pocop. I, I keep wanting to say Pochop. Yeah, everyone does, and I answer that, but it's like Czech, and so if you take the H out, it makes more sense. Oh, but gotcha. Why there's an H in there, I don't know. <laughs> you are fantastic. Thank you. And I just wanted to let you know on camera, so I get credit for it, that you are fantastic. I appreciate um, it. Yeah, so tell me about, what's this one, two, three screen project? Yeah, it's me and Mark Addison, who's a great producer in Austin. He's done, worked with a lot of the great, you know, Texas musicians. Uh, but I was looking for a, a, someone to make pop music with. And, and there's a lot of folk and Americana and country around, but I, Mark said, I like pop music, let's try this. So I yeah. took in my kind of singer songwriter but based in pop songs. And, we put synths and drums and beats all over it, nice. and we, since it was such a collaboration, we called it One Two Three Scream instead of just naming it after me or yeah. whatever. Yeah. So, and then we crunched all the words together to make it more cool. One Two Three Scream, and uh, yeah. Like it's fast. You gotta say it fast. Exactly. Otherwise, kind of you're talking about this whole out. other band. Exactly. <laughs> One Two Three. No. Yeah. And that's currently on Spotify right now. It's on Spotify. It's on you know Amazon, One, two, all those kind of things. Two, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I especially love that song that you co-wrote with uh <laughs> yes i joke that i co-wrote this with one of my heroes because i took a took a line from something she wrote it's, it's called as long as it feels right. exactly and i was like that's a song so i joke about it but i wrote it myself so not get in trouble no but it's a wonderful song thank you such a that's gonna go in um i i just kickstarted a new solo record project and so we're gonna start awesome. recording that and that song will be on the new record Awesome, I look forward to it. Yeah, like every song you have just kind of comes from this, from what I can hear, like this place of happiness. And Thank you. every song's kind of different. And Thank as someone you. who has been writing the same song for the last 20 years, <laughs> I I'm that. a little but jealous. It is, you know, <laughs> it's my favorite. Playing guitar is my favorite thing to do, and playing around with words is my other favorite thing to do. So awesome. yeah. why not? I guess I'm glad that they come out happy. That's nice to hear. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, and you're smiling while you sing, which, again, no smile right there. Yeah, now. there's a lot to think about. I think it's involuntary because I'm like, oh yeah. God, what chord is next? Yeah, I, I notice like. Like, you'll smile on a really clever lyric. <laughs> like, you're like, oh my God, I'm so Shout clever. That. That's probably true. That's probably my brain, like, giving myself yeah. a pat on the head. Like, yeah. good job. No. You're like, you it's see that? Fun. It's just fun. It's cool. You know it. You're a yeah. songwriter. It's yeah. just fun to get to do that. And then cooler when people are around to hear it. Yeah. So. That's kind yeah, of that's that's step. what this is about. Yeah. Well, I mean, awesome. I'm glad you uh, glad you had a great set, Thank and you. I look forward to hearing more from you. Blast. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, Jenna. Thanks. Our sisters and our brothers, we simply run them through. We simply run them through. I hear you say, hear them say. Is heaven meant? Oh no! To hallelujah, yes, to hallelujah. Your heaven sent is heaven meant, oh Lord. To hallelujah, yes, to hallelujah. And I can hear him calling. So I am here at Deep Ellum Arts Festival here at the uh, Deep Ellum Radio stage. David Joshua just got off stage. Join me Sunday, April 7th at the Deep Ellum Radio Artist Court stage at the Deep Ellum Arts Festival for Ghost of Blind Lemon. That's right, all of the acts that day are booked by yours crew. Here's one of the artists you can see 
that side. Is Ghost just gonna plug through every single video I try to do? That's what it sounds like. Uh, I mean. Before when I don't know why. But when I don't know why. I take what I don't deserve and eat up all your lives. But when I All right, so I am back from Deep Ellum Arts Festival, and it was amazing. I was hoping to get a lot more footage than I actually did. Uh, just me walking around, checking out all the vendors. There were some amazing artists uh, that were there, and I actually bought a new, new thing. There it is. Uh, yeah, it's a drum, like carved into a record, which is so cool. But yeah, I didn't get to walk around as much as I'd hoped only because the music was so good. And all of the artists that I featured in this video, please go check out. That's only a handful of the artists that were actually there. And seriously, here in Dallas, we have so many amazing, incredible artists. And I got to step up my game because that's the competition out there. I need to step it up and release those singles or albums who knows <laughs> um but yeah i hope i hope you enjoyed it and just a little taste of my experience today uh thank you david joshua for uh for bringing me along and he did a great job and so did every other artist so yeah next time you get a chance to see uh, a local artist in here in Dallas, here in Deep Ellum, definitely take that opportunity because it's uh, the scene is currently changing, and I'm really excited where it's where it's headed. The direction it's going in is it's pretty cool. So so make sure to go check out all of the artists that I that I spoke about in this video, and make sure to go like and subscribe. And all right, thank you very much. You crazy baby if I could rewind Let's rewind Let's rewind Thank you guys!